All right, BravoCon, Southern Charm is in the house. What's the vibe? Is everyone getting along or is there a little drama for the crew? I think everybody's getting along, right? Yeah, we barely have seen each other. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> have never gotten along. <laughs> never, ever. Yeah. We do it superficially for the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's not the answer that anybody wanted to hear. Miss Pat, this year you've inserted yourself in the drama, I think, more than ever before. The nude photo. Why did you bring that? Up? Hold on. What about the whole Catherine saga where she she climbed over the electric fence? Well, <laughs> that was that was drama too. That's a whole other a whole other thing. I'm she just, she I'm brought just she weighing. I'm just weighing she here. brought a, a a bone. Yes. To the you're the bone collector. Oh, but if you'll remember, I said, oh, but I don't want to talk about that. So, you know, I, I relinquished any responsibility and handed it to her because I knew that she would carry the word. Yes. <laughs> Madison is the bone collector of this crew, the narrator now. This season is like, it's hidden in a different way than the past few seasons. And I think it's a real nice mix of drama, fun, and then real life moments. The moment with Hudson was so sweet, such a big reaction. What does it mean that the show captures stuff like that for you? I mean, I realized really quickly that Hudson has more fans than all of us put together. I mean, so many people have come up to me and they're like, where's Hudson, is he okay? So that means the world to me and um, I really appreciate it. So. Did you go kick that kid's butt behind? Well, let's just say I had some words with his mother, so. He was bitten by a child? He was bitten by a child. Okay. At least it wasn't a vampire. Yes. Uh, it was a cannibal instead. <laughs> you know, I, I'd like to say on the record that Mad I've known Madison and Hudson for, I don't know, I, we go back 12 years, but, but Hudson was a baby. She is the best mother, and Hudson is the sweetest, most respectful, well-mannered child ever. And he's camera ready as hell. I've yeah. never seen anything like it. And he's a now, performer. Now, best mother, and you have Jessica Simpson's stamp of approval. I mean, what you you documented the aftermath of seeing that comment, but have you been able to like actually make contact and make a move there with her? So after the comment was made, she actually slid in my DM the next morning. I didn't leak it, but man, I was like, okay, this is yeah, this is amazing. I feel like I made it. It had a bigger impact than Tom Cruise's. <laughs> And a, and, a, and a better yeah. <laughs> a, a better DM slide than the, the last one that caused a little drama for you. Yeah, we'll call that the last one, I guess, yes. <laughs> well, Tom Cruise sounds one. like a whole other... Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. Uh, Shep, this season is a roller coaster for you in the aftermath of your breakup, the Taylor and Austin situation. Where do you exist with the both of them right now? I mean... Probably better than 99.9% .9 of uh, other human beings would be with them. I mean, I just, I'm just not someone that holds on to anger, grudges, things like that. I've, I've experienced some wonderfully blissful things with Taylor. I mean, I was in love with her for two and a half years, and I'll always love her and I'll always care about her. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw that away because someone makes a mistake. And, and the same with Austin, like we've had the most insane fun times at concerts, out on the town, other countries, stuff like that. I choose to preserve the good and sort of move on. A reunion is coming. Yeah. Pat, what would it take for you to make it to a reunion? You know, I'm sorely tempted to go this time because I still have a lot of information that I've kept back. Oh. You hear that? Bravo. I'm waiting for the just the right moment. I haven't decided yet. Maybe a private jet. And, uh, I'm a private jet and a martini yeah, is waiting for you peaches. on set yeah, and yeah, peaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That might do. <laughs> what, what are our predictions for a reunion? Who's going to walk out with the most, you know, pain? <laughs> He's right over there. We can't talk. We can't say his name. It's Don't Austin. Tell him. Yeah. <laughs> but before that, we get Jamaica. Which everyone has told me is like outrageous. outrageous. Yeah. Why does it go so off the rails? And who and Madison, did you really make Austin poop his pants? Oh yeah. Um, you're gonna have to you wait. Didn't make him. I think no. was an involuntary. I was like the fact I still can make him <laughs> himself is uh, pretty amazing to me. I was like, I guess I made him that nervous, and um, it's gonna be pretty good, I think. And I'm embarrassed for him, honestly. It was a good. It was fun. I mean. You know, we get to go on some trips, but this one was like... We had fun. We had fun, yeah. yeah. 
Well, yeah, I mean, well, Madison. I'm, and you two, you rare. two, you two are in a good spot right now. And she told me that she really like kept her fire for you during filming. So well, yeah, I mean, we're in this rare, rarefied air where both of us are kind of in the clear right now. <laughs> so we're kind of we're enjoying nailed. that. We we're just waiting each episode. Yeah. We're like, Phew, we made it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So season ten, we'll see where that goes. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Let's there hope so. Yeah. I can't believe it's you a decade in. I know. I know. Good to see you.